Hi, everybody. Lori here from My Favorite Things. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm excited to create this really fun letterboard card with you using some products from the latest September release with My Favorite Things. I'm going to start with this new letterboard dynamics die which allows you to customize a letterboard to put on a card i'm going to die cut it into some dark kind of slate charcoal cardstock you could also do this out of black or white or whatever color you want your letterboard to be and then there's another thing you can do um, using the frame builder dies that's what these are and you can build a frame for your letterboard i'm going to use this on some kind of like craft cardstock to kind of emulate like like a wooden frame. Again, you could customize this, make it a black frame, make it a white frame. And I'm gonna go ahead and die cut this twice and I'm gonna double it up to give it just a little smidge of dimension. You could also just use foam tape, but I thought this was easy, uh, an easy way just to make it just slightly thicker than the letter board and just give it a little, little bit of love. Uh, so I'm using some liquid glue and just trying to stack these up and you're gonna to wanna to butt up your angles, you know, on the on the sides here, um, like so. See how that just kind of fits in like a puzzle piece. I'm gonna work this all the way around. You could also use tape runner, a lot of different things you could do. My daughter one time gave her really good friend a letter board for her birthday and she customized it with a phrase that they always say to one another. And I thought it was such a great idea and the girl still has it on her wall. And we have a letter board in one of our daughter's bedrooms and they're always changing the sayings on it. Something snarky, but they're really fun to have. And this is a great idea to make one on a card. So I love stuff like this where you can customize sayings or come up with funny sayings or Google hilarious sayings or depending on who you're giving the card to, you could say a lot of different things. If you wanna make this for a teacher or a coworker, a best friend, a husband, you know, you have those inside jokes that you can really customize the letter board for. Um, so there's an alphabet that goes with this. It's called the letter board alphabet. And there's also a little number set if you want to add numbers, it's a separate little dynamics die set. So once we got our frame all ready to go, look at how cute this is. It's just so simple, but so cute. And okay, so I'm going to die cut a bunch of letters. So this is the letterboard alphabet dynamics die set. It's got all the letters, a few special symbols in it. But like I said before, there's also um, a little numbers, one, two, if you want to add numbers for different occasions. So I'm gonna start cutting apart. I had a sentiment in mind that would be fun to make a card for a crafter. And it says, eat, sleep, craft, repeat. And I thought, how cool would it be to do every letter? You know, I, I can't not go there, but every letter in rainbow order. So this is a great way to use up those scraps. And I certainly use little slivers of car sucks. That's all you need, just a little bit. You certainly don't have to be so dramatic. You could cut all the letters out of white, like a traditional letter board. But I thought this was something fun to do, a little bit different. So you got to think ahead. Um, I, I mapped out how many letters were in the phrase I wanted to say. I counted out, I think there's 19 letters. And so then I was like, I need 19 colors. And I was fine if I had to repeat it. Maybe you only have eight colors and then repeat it twice. But I just so happen to have all these little scraps and I came up with 19 and it, it wasn't that hard. So if you're like me and you've got all the card stocks, this is a great way to use them up. Okay, and then you can die cut so many at once to really knock out this phrase. You just gotta think ahead of what letter is gonna be what color because mine had a lot of E's and A's. and So you, you know, you only have one letter, you gotta repeat it. You know what I mean? I had a, so you get the idea. So I'm working my way here through the eat, sleep, craft, repeat phrase. And I'm going in rainbow order. This is a great time to use that, uh, what is it, embellishment wand? Stuff like that, a quick pick tool or embellishment wand is great for little projects like this. And um, just getting all those letters cut out. Now here's what I did. I fiddled and futzed all the live long day, trying to get these straight. Do they need to be perfectly straight? No, because sometimes letter boards aren't perfectly straight, but the OCD in me just wanted to try to get it as good as I can. So I used that little retractable needle tool and fiddled and futz for a good while until I got them good enough. And then I pulled out the old 
Presence Seal. Shout out to Ken McGuire. If you don't know this already, I feel like everyone knows that Jennifer McGuire's husband, Ken McGuire, invented Presence Seal. And every time I use it, I give a good shout out to Ken McGuire. So once you get your letters how you want them to go, put down some Presence Seal carefully. Do not sneeze. Do not laugh. Do not huff or puff. Press those all into that press and seal, and then you can carefully lift up the press and seal, flip it over, and add your adhesive of choice. Now, I certainly did think about popping these up, but that was that was further than I wanted to go, <laughs> more invested than I wanted to be. So I just put little dots of liquid glue behind each little letter, kind of got to work fast, and then try to line it up best as you can, holding that press and seal, center it. And then just let the cards fall. <laughs> you, and you know, the glue does give you a little play time to shimmy and slide to get it centered and all that. And then just give it a good press. I let it sit for maybe a minute because you want to make sure it's adhered. You pull that press and seal, you might pull the, pull the letter right off unless it's, you know, you know what I'm saying. Anyway, okay. Carefully removing the press and seal. Now look at how cute that is in rainbow. I mean, forget about it. You could stop right there, but I thought since we're doing a crafty card, why not add some crafty embellishments? So this is the Crafty Tools Dynamics die set, and it's got all fun crafty tools. I'm going to do a little cute pair of scissors out of some silver metallic cardstock, a little bit of aqua. So we'll make an aqua handle on some silver scissors. And there's a lot of um, things like Copic markers, pencils, rulers, a paint palette, paintbrush, pencils. You probably wanna refer to the My Favorite Things website to know how all these are supposed to look. Cause here's a little paintbrush, putting this one together. I'm gonna make the, the brush holder stick. <laughs> I don't know what the term for that is, red. Then a little bit of metal for the thingamajiggy and then a black for the brush and then I'm also going to make a pencil and I don't really think how I put my pencil together is technically correct I think it's a mechanical pencil but I didn't know it at the time and I was just winging it and it actually turned out really cute so there's your look at this cute adorable paintbrush I love that okay here's the pencil I decided to kick it old school and just make an old school yellow pencil and then I'll do like a little kind of peachy eraser, you know, just like a traditional what you think of with a, a pencil. And so I thought that little long stick part was to glue the eraser onto the pencil. That's actually like a mechanical pencil. So, but you know what? I think you could do it either way. And I took a black Copic and colored the end, the tip end of the pencil so it would look like lead. And then I have a little bit of little end tip here out of craft card stock that makes it look like the wood on a pencil. So I think it turned out really, really cute, even though I don't think that's exactly how that die was intended to go, but potato, potato, you know what I mean? So make sure you refer to the My Favorite Things to see how all these little crafty tools are supposed to come together. But at the end of the day, you certainly can improvise. Okay, so I'm just gonna like put my crafty tools on the letter board here and there and around it. It just adds a little bit of color and a little bit of fun. And you can add more by stopped at three. Again, using a little bit of liquid glue, but you could also pop these up with foam tape. I certainly thought about it. This card is very flat for me and I'm here for that. I'm kind of excited to explore the flatness of the card. So I'm putting a little bit of tape runner on a white card base. And then look at how this letter board fits perfectly on a standard A2 size card base. So four and a quarter by five and a half. I love, love, love that there's a little bit of margin around the edge. Something about a little bit of white border just gets me going, just lights my fire and I don't know why. But there you have an adorable letterboard card for your crafty loving friend. Eat, sleep, craft, and repeat. Make sure and check out the rest of the September release with My Favorite Things. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you next time.